Welcome to Tech Surge News, where we bring you the latest in the world of science and technology. In this video, join us as we explore futuristic and groundbreaking tech that'll definitely knock your socks off. When you want to travel long distances, say from one continent to another, you book an airplane flight and expect to be in the air for several hours. When it comes to space travel, however, you must travel faster because all of the points of interest are too far away. Space explorers have always sought a way to travel faster than the speed of light, allowing them to reach deep space more quickly. Basically, all of the discovered methods have significant downsides. But scientists have discovered a new way. How does it function? What are the prerequisites? When will you be able to use it to travel? Join us as we introduce a new way to travel faster than the speed of light. Light is incredibly interesting and essential because watching this video will be impossible without it. We can walk without colliding with objects because of the sun and other artificial light sources invented by humans. However, you've probably heard that light travels and travels quickly. But how fast does light travel? Surprisingly, the precise speed of light is known and serves as the foundation for most other measurements. The speed of light in a vacuum is exactly 299,792,458 meters per second or 983,571,056 feet per second. That means light can travel 186,282 miles in one second. Light travels so quickly that if you turn on a light bulb in a dark room, the light fills the room almost instantly and you probably won't even notice that light travels. The light year is another unit of measurement that involves light. It is the distance that light can travel in one year. This is approximately 6 trillion miles or 10 trillion kilometers. It is one method by which astronomers and physicists measure vast distances in our universe. As previously stated, the universe is so massive that it can take light years to travel from one end to the other. To illustrate, light travels approximately one second from the moon to our eyes, suggesting that the moon is approximately one light second away. However, sunlight takes longer to reach our eyes, taking about eight minutes, suggesting that the sun is about eight light minutes away. Light from Alpha Centauri, our nearest star system, takes about 4.3 years to reach us, so Alpha Centauri is 4.3 light years away. While there are many interesting things that light can do, scientists have attempted to find a way to travel at the speed of light. This is intriguing because humans will soon become an interstellar space species. For example, SpaceX billionaire CEO Elon Musk wants to establish a settlement on Mars but its explorers must endure at least five months of space exploration before touching down on the red planet. Depending on how close the two planets are, this can last up to a year. And that's with all the dangers it brings before even touching down on Mars. However, at the speed of light, they can complete the long journey in less than four minutes. Many different approaches have been utilized by researchers in order to achieve extremely fast travel. However, there was always a problem that no other method could solve until a scientist introduced a new discovery, which we will present in this video. It is extremely difficult to achieve even 1% of speed of light, which is still very fast as it can take you from Los Angeles to New York in a little more than a second. In a nutshell, the issue is energy. Any moving object generates energy as a result of its motion, which physicists refer to as kinetic energy. To go faster, you must increase your kinetic energy. The issue is that increasing speed requires a lot of kinetic energy. It takes four times the energy to make something go twice as fast. Increasing the speed of something requires nine times the energy, and so on. To accelerate a 100-pound teenager to 1% of the speed of light, for example, will cost 20 trillion joules. That's roughly the same amount of energy as 2 million Americans use in a single day. Consider the M-Drive, which was marketed as a technology that will whisk us away to the farthest reaches of the universe in record time. Theoretically, this invention, which has been patented, works by capturing microwaves in a shaped chamber where their bouncing produces thrust. Because the chamber is closed, it appears to move without any fuel input or thrust output from the outside. The M-Drive is based on Newton's second law, which states that force is defined as the rate of a shift in momentum. As a result, 
An electromagnetic or EM wave traveling at the speed of light has momentum that will move to a reflector, resulting in a tiny force. This massive accumulation of tiny forces is what enables the M drive, which sounds simple but effectively flips our knowledge of physics on its head. Because there is no energy coming in or going out, we must ask how the waves are initiated and how they continue to move. Where is their energy coming from? Without an explainable push, you can't have spontaneous created momentum, which is why many scientists don't take the M-Drive seriously. If the M-Drive works, it will render much of what physicists know about the universe obsolete. The M-Drive was even tested by physicists at Dresden University of Technology, who discovered that the encouraging results attained by NASA and China in terms of thrust were all false positives explained by external forces. However, Dr. Eric Lenz, a physicist with over 10 years of experience in practical applications, believes that the warp drive holds great promise. Lenz wasn't even the first person to work on making the warp drive a reality. The Mexican mathematician Miguel Acubier was the first to attempt it, and his proposal became the starting point of the official literature on warp drives in 1994. Unfortunately, the Alcubierre warp drive, as it has become known, necessitates an enormous amount of energy, as well as the dreaded exotic matter as a co-ingredient. This highly radioactive material is only theoretical and has not been observed in nature, let alone created by researchers. Since then, a few variations have been proposed, including a 2010 update to the physical design of the Alcubierre drive by former NASA engineer Dr. Harold G. White. His update reduced the amount of energy required to a more manageable number, even though the solution still required exotic matter, though somewhat significantly less than the Alcubierre solution. Aside from the key material difference, Lentz noted that his solution differs geometrically from Alcubierre and most others due to how the energy is distributed around the warp bubble. The energy density and corrugations are maxly separated in Alcubierre solution, with the energy confined to a small torus between the regions of high contraction and growth. Instead, the curvatures and sources in Lentz's proposal are strongly correlated with regions of high energy density and high expansion and contraction almost exactly overlapping. Because of the geometric differences between his concept and the traditional designs, Lentz's proposal is a potentially more feasible warp solution than those previously proposed. Of course, Lentz's warp drive remains purely theoretical. He does, however, see a few immediate steps that can be taken to bring his version closer to reality, which, like all preceding drive theories, involves reducing the amount of energy required. Where does Lentz want his warp drive to go from here? He stated that the next goal is to create a warp bubble capable of moving at 1% of the speed of light using a contemporary fusion reactor. The physicist stated that he will think about patenting his warp drive, but he also stated that his work is only a small part of a larger, quickly growing body of work in this field, and that the latest increase in new warp drive concepts since Alcubierre's 1994 proposal provides those in his field hope that a real, verifiable version is closer than we think. Lenz stated that it has been thrilling to see how much advancement has recently been made in the field of warp drive. He believes that many more advances are ready to be made and anticipates what the next few years will bring. Thank you for staying around till the end of the video. To keep on hearing from us, feel free to subscribe down below and hit the bell button to get the latest notifications. Tech Search News, signing out.